It's called Wobbly Widow. Hanging around all day, shuffling from chair to sofa, has now become my full-time job. I never thought I'd aspire to this, but at the age of 63, what else do I do? My children have grown, my husband, he died. But one thing I'm thankful for is his life insurance paid off the house. Didn't pay for the maintenance of it though, bloody weeds. Weeds and grass, so overgrown. My son lives next door, he just drives by, he doesn't even wave. I should have made them do jobs around the house when they were younger. Should have made them take care of me a bit more. Oh no, I was busy filling their heads with undying love. That they were perfection. Giving them designer dreams and hopes that one day I'd be free of them too. I'm breathing, I guess. Breathing God's renewing air. That's what those rattling Jehovah's preach through my letterbox. Waves and waves of flipping love, they tell me, coming my way like the seas. I think they think their prayers work, bloody annoying folk if you ask me. Try next door, I yell back, for my son lives there. Not that he'd admit it, neither would his wife. Bloody thespians, don't wave, never mind knock the door. They're just like the bloody postman. He hides behind the hedges. I've seen him completing his red return to sender card instead of waiting for me to answer the blasted door. As for those bloody miserable, bloody bin men, no ma matter how many council complaints I lodge, they still bang those bloody bins and hurtle their lorries up and down this road at 5am. They're like blasted southerners, all of them scowling from December to November, yet smiling for a tip at Christmas. I refuse to live in an unlit house with closed curtains like they do next door, hiding behind their Audi steering wheel and her lipstick. That said, maybe that's the way for me to be seen. If I waited by the door for the postman and said a cheery hello, would he still fail to deliver? What if I shuffled along my front hedge, made eye contact with my son? Maybe he'd say hi. What if I hit back at all those weeds with my walking stick and showed the world I had morals too? What if someone gave me a clue as to why the papers reported that I poisoned my beloved Cyril? Because for the life of me, I can't even remember what Cyril looked like. So... I just tell you, I wrote Chocolate Monkey Mind and Me, and I also recorded it on audiobook, on audio, on Audible, if you'd like to have a listen in. Bye.